Hey YouTube. Um, so, so I'm going to try to do something a little different in my video um, starting now and and that's just step by step I want to start explaining everything that I'm doing because I feel like going back and watching my other videos I'm not really explaining anything I'm just kind of my videos are just showing what I'm doing just putting a bunch of crap on my face so um, I thought to be fair and to just so people can maybe get some more out of it just start explaining everything even though I just discovered I have a pretty big insecurity talking in front of a camera not my thing maybe I'll get more comfortable but right now I'm nervous and I'm sitting in my own room shouldn't be nervous it's stupid but I am okay so um, I guess on with the makeup and if you could just let me know if you like this style uh, better or if it doesn't matter if you could just let me know in the comments below I would appreciate it all right everybody I hope you enjoy the tutorial thanks for watching so I already made the prosthetic um, brow and a nose attached because if you Google that character, he kind of has like a, well, my nose is like that, but his nose is bigger right here. And I don't think that I could pull that off with makeup because my nose is real skinny. Mm. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and apply this wiggly nose with some spirit gum. This now gum's got some uh, liquid latex. And I'm just going to put it in like in a, a little bowl because I want to um, blend out some of these edges like right here and maybe right there. This, I don't know. We'll see how far it goes. Okay, so I went ahead and covered my, oh, I can't talk, ah, my whole face in latex, including my mouth, and I can't talk, uh, sorry, um, I did my mouth, you'll see why in a second, well, I'll have to explain it to you now, uh, the character does not have a mouth, it's like one solid piece, um, I don't know what's going on with that can't talk I guess I don't know um, so I thought about putting like a piece of fabric that is breathable over my mouth and latexing that down um, I didn't really like the way it looked and then I figured out if I put latex on my mouth hold on I'll show you on my lips and shut them because latex sticks to itself um, I got a really cool effect and hold on this is what it kind of this is what it looks like I'm gonna have to redo it but obviously it's ripping right there I'll have to fix that but That's what it would look like. Uh, I'm going to cut slits in it so I can breathe through my mouth. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and explain the makeup that I'm going to do. Um, I took a bunch of cheap cream makeup that you can get from like uh, Halloween shops and stuff like that. Um, a white, uh, like a like a light light brown or skin tone um, a dark brown and this gray and I mixed together some colors until I got a certain gray that I wanted um, because he's not like entirely gray um, he's kind of like a washed out brownish gray and he's got some some white scars going on 
So I'm going to put the latex back over my mouth and um, do the rest of my makeup. I'm not going to be able to talk. Sorry. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just try to explain what I'm doing if I have to. Anyways. Using just a regular art brush um, with that's like very thin tipped art brush and uh, the white face paint that I showed you in the beginning, I'm just going to go ahead and create kind of like he has scars on his face. I think they're scars, um, but just some white scar looking areas to, to give it some more depth. So now I'm just going in with some of that black um, face paint or face cream and a thicker bristled paintbrush, just a regular paintbrush. And I'm going to go in and start um, painting in the dark areas. Now using my BH Cosmetics 88 Matte Palette and a medium fluffy brush, I'm going to go in and start blending in um, one of the darkest browns that's on the palette into the areas where light would not reflect, just to give it some more depth. That was some black eyeliner. I'm going to line my waterline um, just so that I can get as much of the whites black. Using the same dark brown eyeshadow from earlier and the same fluffy brush, I'm going to start hollowing out my cheekbones. Again, using the same color, same brush, I'm going through and just touching up some areas that need some darker shade to it. To give even more definition, I took some of that black face paint and a thin tip paintbrush and started highlighting or low lighting the darker areas for more depth. 
went over um, most of the black edges with my big fluffy brush and black eyeshadow from the matte palette and just blended out some of the edges so they weren't such harsh lines. black and dark gray mixture in the same black applicator sponge. I'm just dabbing that around the mouth area just to make it look like it has a little more depth as well. Black cream makeup because I thought I had some black hairspray but it just turns out it was an empty can. I glob this stuff all over my hands, jazz hands, and <laughs> just smeared it through my entire, well, not my entire head, mostly just the front, um, my roots, the parts that I knew was going to show um, in picture and camera and stuff. So then all I had left to do was the costume and that was just a white collared shirt and a black coat. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you could just let me know in the comments if this style is any more helpful or if it just doesn't make a difference at all, I'd greatly appreciate it. So that way I know if it's even worth my time to do it this way. So like always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.